our warehouse currently has about uh, two to three weeks worth of stock left at um, the numbers that we're handing out. So uh, we desperately need food donations. The Moose Jaw and District Food Bank is in a crisis. That's according to a letter published online by the organization urging the community to lend a hand. The food bank's executive director says there is more demand than ever. Our numbers have increased, almost doubled over the past two years, and our donations have not uh, matched that. Uh, we've received an increase of donations, about 25% annually, but in order to keep up uh, and to sustain us, we, we, for the next three months at least, until our next big food drive, we need to raise about $150,000. Two years ago, the food bank provided services to about 400 households a month. Now, it's 800. That means the food bank is handing out less hampers full of food, and it's a situation that's not unique in Saskatchewan. The Regina Food Bank has reported increasing demand since the COVID-19 pandemic as the cost of living has soared. That means people with full-time jobs now rely on food banks. The official opposition says the provincial government needs to step up. There is no good reason that um, working people, that seniors on fixed incomes, that children are going hungry again in a, in a province like Saskatchewan. In response, the Ministry of Social Services said it values the work food banks do for people in their communities, adding that it will have more to say on this front in the coming days, signaling that assistance may be on the way for those trying to help others. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.